We got our test results back from our Project XMC JB Weld Carburetor Edition. This is our 600 main body, Holly main body, uh, vacuum secondary actually, used to be. Uh, well, now it's, you know, just a big JB Weld mess. But this started life as a 600 Holly four barrel carburetor. And right now, we have picked up from that baseline a hundred and fifty seven CFM. Oh, yeah, we're on to something. <laughs> Now, big thanks has to go out to Joseph Nowak, who is the channel that is doing all those flow bench testing for us. Without him, none of this would have been possible. But if you're not familiar with this series and what we're doing here, basically this is Project XMC, Extremely Modified Carburetor, as you can clearly see. Now, what we did is we took just a plain Jane Holly. 600 CFM vacuum secondary main body. This right here. Initially, what we did was we cut the choke tower off, right? We flowed it before that, but then we cut the choke tower cut the choke tower off. You know, English is important. Uh, I just kind of smoothed out all the edges, you know, your radius stuff, just real basic, simple stuff, and sent it back in. From that, we picked up 84 CFM, right? 84 CFM. And then we went to crazy town. We JB Weld up this whole bad boy right here. Uh, obviously, this is not going to be running fuel anymore. This is strictly for airflow. But with all this JB Weld and the boosters, I also polished up, you know, you can clearly see all that we have videos you know in the past go watch those to get caught up with the full story i'm just giving you a recap right now sent that back in mind you we never changed the actual venturi diameter this is still has its stock 600 venturi size you know the hole the opening all we did was massage everything around it Right? So we picked up 157 CFM through the same size hole. Okay, But sent it back in to have it flowed. We doubled the booster signal, as in doubled the amount of responsiveness to the actual boosters, the signal to the booster. Just in general, like not, it's doubled in comparison to the extra flow, like Yes, it raised because of the flow, but then it doubled on top of that. And we picked up a nice 26 CFM from that modification. All this jazz. The last and final thing we did was we took this monstrous 850 base plate. And I made it fit this 600 main body. As you can see look at the just sheer magnitude of metal that I removed making that 850 base plate fit. It was significant. I, th there was quite the difference. And we now have the test results in for this experiment. And we picked up quite a freaking bit from just that modification right there. That's what, so where are we at? 84, 26, that'd be 110. We're at 157. So that's what, 47 more CFM? Just from that modification right there. Wow. This thing is a beast. Look at it. Now I'm just tossing out, you know, numbers at you, you know, left and right here. I encourage you, again, you have to go watch Joseph Nowak's series on this carburetor and him flowing it. He has all the data. It's spreadsheet out in a nice spreadsheet where you can clearly see all of what's going on, right? Highly encourage you. You got to go watch it for the nit gritty 
details. He floated at multiple different uh, depressions, which is basically just how much, you know, vacuum you're putting on the carburetor to get the numbers. Float at many different ones because, frankly, he had to. Because right out of the gate, you know, this thing maxed out his flow bench, right? So then he had to lower the amount of depressions each time because we kept maxing it out, maxing it out. Like, it, it, I'm telling you, this thing, it's got some potential left in her. Well, the idea has potential in it, and I'll explain that in a minute. But you got to go watch him out. You got to comment, like, share, because without him, none of this would be possible. You know, I did all this work. But he did all the math and geometry and flowing and everything else. So, you know, got to go give him some love. So what is next for this project, right? I mean, that's the whole thing. I change something, we send it to him, he flows it, brings it back, I change something else. You know, it's the whole routine. You know, make it bigger, badder, you know, stronger, whatever, whatever that Daft Punk song was. Draft Punk? I, it, it was techno or something or another. What are we doing with it now? Well, I think it's time to pull the plug on this. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean, I think I'm going to be done messing with this main body. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to not change anything else about it. Because frankly, we're at a point where I don't want to, you know, I want to preserve it because it's kind of cool, right? Like. It is the, you know, the workhorse that has gotten us to this far. And I have more ideas. I Trust me, I got a lot more things I want to do. But I don't want to do it to this because the next steps would completely change this whole thing. And I, I don't want to do it. I, I, want to, I want to preserve this as you know, a stepping stone so we can see the progress of evolution of this project. So this main body is now retired. You know, it, it earned it. It, you know, it did a lot for us. But that being said, what is the next steps then? Well, I'll tell you. And in order for us to continue doing this, you know, project and actually seeing tangible results out of it, I need your help. Probably. I mean, it's, it'd be nice, you know, if, if you could. All right. So it's time to get, you know, down to the nitty gritty here and really talk about what is this ultimately going to achieve in the future here? What is our ultimate goal? What do we actually, what are we doing all this for? Well, let me tell you, we have learned a lot from this and truly the things we have accomplished with this project are actually very astounding. We have picked up 157 CFM out of the exact same size hole. Now you gotta put that in perspective. You have a hole, the hole, the Venturi size hasn't changed but we have managed to squeeze 157 more CFM through that hole whilst increasing booster signal twice. Again, that's not just a result from the 157 extra CFM, that is double on top of that. It is twice the booster signal as just any normal carburetor out there. Normally, a carburetor will be around two times the booster signal per the amount of depression. So whatever vacuum is acting on the carburetor as a whole, the booster sees about twice that much. This sees about four times as much uh, uh, signal to the booster as signal to the rest of the carb. This is impressive stuff. But the JB Weld and, and all this messing about and whatnot, this is a one-of-a-kind item. I mean, that, that's why I want to preserve it, right? It's one-of-a-kind. You cannot just go and easily duplicate this. And realistically, the performance on this is limited based on my own ability to port it. 
Now, if you go to Joseph Nowak's channel and you look at all the data, you'll see there's some, uh, uh, some Venturi's, some areas, quadrants, boosters. The numbers are not very smooth because I, frankly, did all of this by hand. It is not all perfectly symmetrical in the slightest. So really, you would want a nice precision, you know, piece of work, it, it, you know, if you were going to actually apply this to yourself, which is what the ultimate goal is. I want what we've learned here to be able to be applied to you guys. So how are we going to do that? Well, I have an idea, but I have no idea how to do it, right? I want to create a product, right? I want to create a product to turn your carburetor into this. Not exactly, obviously. This is a special case, right? I mean, that has been highly modified. I'm talking something a little more realistic, sort of like this, right? Now, this still has all its air bleeds, right? Uh, this is just some, uh, uh, I just put some, what is it? It's air dry clay. I put air dry clay in this just to try to get a mold going. But that's ultimately what I need. I need your guys' help. I have no idea how to make my idea a reality. I want to create an insert for your carburetor. Now, I want to make an insert the same shape as this clay. So essentially, what will happen is you have an insert. You can buy this insert, right, from me, right? It might help revenue of the channel too, you know, get a little more revenue in, be able to do better stuff, right? More entertaining stuff, because frankly, money is tight. But, right, I want to make a product. I want to make an insert for your pre-existing carburetor so all you do is you get the insert you dink into your carburetor and then the insert will give you some of the same performances as we've seen here uh so i mean frankly what is that two times the booster signal plus you know a good chunk of cfm not exact not 150 cfm because that's you know all of this but a sizable amount, and it can be perfected, you know, as we go. I need to make a prototype. I need to make a prototype insert that I can send off to other YouTubers, Joseph Nowak included, but I want to send this to other bigger YouTubers to test out. I mean, it would be amazing to have a physical product that I can dink into a carburetor and send it off to, like, David Bizarre, Andy Wood, they can flow test it and do whatever, you know, David can analyze and, you know, critique and tell me why it's stupid or, you know, why it wouldn't work or why it's genius and why it might work. I don't know. I want to send it to, like, I don't know, somebody who can put it on their actual car and is ready, you know, can take it down drag strip or drive it around on the road. I need physical, tangible prototypes in order to further along this concept so that this concept can get to you right but i don't know how to do it i am not a computer guy right to me you know the the simplest way to do it in my own head would be to get a digital download of the carburetor and then a digital download of what I want the carburetor to look like, right? Smooth it out in the programming and then, you know, just take what the differences are between the original and the modified, take that and then like 3D print it or CNC machine it or something like that, right? Would be how I think to go about it. Because I have tried, like, trying to do clay. Actually, that's what this was. I was hoping I'd be able to just, dink, take the clay out, and I'd have a mold. But it's too intricate. There's too many fine details in here. That's not going to work. So, any help you guys could 
put down in the comments or suggest to me or if you got a buddy who can do something like that and he wants to get involved tell him to get in contact with me newguysgarage at gmail.com or comment on any of my videos it would be good because I believe this has an audience I think this project can truly get somewhere I think there is a market for it as long as the performance is there right we've seen the flow test bench to flow flow bench test we've seen the flows right that's only one part of it though how does that equate to an actual engine right you know we we need prototypes in order to figure this stuff out and i it would be beneficial to give it out to multiple other big youtubers who can test it not only to test its functionality but to you know also get the name out there you know get get it more widespread would be kind of useful too so that's it for now i mean i that's all the rambling i can do at the moment because i you know that's that's where we're at. I'm at a standstill. I want to get functional prototypes of what we've already learned built. I want it in three different phases, though. I want it, one, for like this, a chokeless carburetor main body. I want, two, a version for a milled choke body. So where they milled the choke tower off, I want a version that will fit into that also. And then, three, I want a version that will fit into a pre-existing you know carburetor with a choke tower still i want those three basic you know versions because that way it covers the entire market of carburetors basically holly style carburetors others will come later all right that that's it for now i'll catch you next time and i hope you found this interesting and uh hopefully something will come of it some Day because I think there is uh, I think there's potential here. <laughs>